Sam Altman just a couple weeks ago announced a new target for how much computational infrastructure he wants to build. He wants to see 250 gigawatts of data center capacity laid by 2033 just for his company. Who knows if it's even possible to build that? Like Altman has estimated that this would cost around 10 trillion dollars. Where is he going to get that money? Who who knows? But if that were to come to pass, the primary energy sources that we would be using to power this infrastructure is fossil fuels, because we're not going to get a huge breakthrough in nuclear fusion by 2033. And renewable energy just doesn't cut it because these facilities require being run 24-7 and renewable energy just cannot be that supply. And so Business Insider had this investigation earlier this year that found that utilities are, quote, torpedoing their renewable energy goals in order to service the data center demand. So we are seeing natural gas plants having their lives extended, coal plants having their lives extended. And that's not just pumping emissions into the atmosphere. It's also pumping air pollution into communities. And part of Business Insider's investigation found that there could be billions of dollars of healthcare costs that result from this astronomical increase in in air pollution in communities that have already historically suffered the inability to access their fundamental right to clean air. We've seen incredible reporting coming out of Memphis, Tennessee, for example, where Colossus, the supercomputer being used to train Grok, is being run on 35 unlicensed methane gas turbines. (laughs) 